This video shows you how to quickly change a screenlet's appearance in your Android app. This is done by changing view sets, which are a set of custom layouts. Each custom layout in a view set is called a view. Right now there are three available view sets, but you can create more if you wish. To add an existing view set to your app, copy its Gradle dependency into your app's build.gradle file and then synchronize your project. You can find the dependencies to copy in the tutorial using views in Android screenlets. After synchronizing your project, you can test for the addition of the view set by searching for its classes in Android Studio. To use it with a screenlet, first open the layout file where you're using the screenlet. Then add the attribute app layout ID to the screenlet. Use the name of the view as the attribute's value. You can use Android Studio to autocomplete this attribute declaration. Note that views follow a naming convention where the screenlet and view set are combined. For example, to use the material view set with login screenlet, the view's name is login underscore material. Now you're ready to test it in an emulator. First, note the login screenlet's default appearance. When you relaunch the app, it appears completely different. This example app is configured to launch the DDL form screenlet after login. Note that it still has the default appearance. This is because you must set each screenlet to use the view set that you want to use. LifeRay Screens makes three view sets available for use, Default, Material, and Westeros. You can find descriptions of these view sets in the tutorial using views in Android screenlets.